What's up guys, Drew Binsky here in Jakarta, Indonesia with my boy Mike. Hello. We are gonna try some of the best desserts that this country has to offer. Where are we right now? Okay, we're at Sabang Night Market. So we're gonna try all the desserts and sweets that this market has to offer, especially in Indonesia. Let's go. It's like choo -choo. more butter for my brother. All right, that's bomb. Whoa, super gingery. I gotta be honest, this is my favorite. Wow. Cheers. Mmm, it's kind of sweet. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back in Asia. I'm here in Indonesia's vibrant capital called Jakarta for a third visit. It is truly one of those cities that just never sleeps and is well known for its vibrant culture and street life. It's also a city of contrasts, where modern skyscrapers are standing alongside big slums, where traditional markets are mixed in with historical landmarks. Jakarta really offers something for everyone, with its mix of ancient temples and modern shopping centers, to its trendy cafes and crazy street food options. So good, man. But in this video, I have my eyes set on one thing, desserts. I just never had something like this. Does anyone else have a sweet tooth out there? Don't go anywhere because these desserts are unlike anything you've ever seen. Trust me on this one. That is scary delicious. First up, what do we have here? Okay, so we're gonna have some martabak telur, some kind of heavy pancake and filled with cheese and also with chocolate. So we order first? Yeah. There is a lot going on in this plate. Condensed milk, cheese, chocolate, rice, butter, something kind of bread. I don't even know what it is, bro, but this is something different. More butter, more butter, more, more butter. butter. More brother. brother. More butter for my brother. <laughs> All right, we are now gonna try the interesting looking pancake, cheesy, chocolatey dessert. <laughs> I told you it's gonna be heavy. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to eat it. How would you explain that in one word? Bomb? <laughs> it's not a bomb. Dude, the fact that you just said bomb, that's like my childhood, like, <laughs> with my friends. Let's see how bomb it really is. I can smell butter. the butter. That's like the first thing that I smell. Look at it just leaking off of my fingers. All right, that's bomb. It's really heavy. My first taste was just butter. Then I got a, a chocolate wave. Then I got a cheesy Jeez. wave. It's mushy, it's gushy. That is scary delicious. All right, Mike, what's next on the agenda? We have ronde and also sekuteng. So basically, this is some kind of rice cake and filled with some uh, ginger soupy base. So it's very heartwarming and it's very good for your health. And it's a dessert. And it's a dessert. How can a dessert be good for your and health? It can be so healthy. Know, right? <laughs> All right, let's find well, out. Let's okay. dig in. So those are the balls. I gotta be honest, I've never seen a dessert that looks anything remotely close to what I'm seeing right here. It looks like a soup with a bunch of strangely colored balls inside. All right, it is served. You can see there's steam coming off of this bowl. Can you guys see that? What kind of dessert has steam coming off of it? This, this does. Every dessert that I've ever had in my life is usually cold or room temperature. Not piping hot. Whoa, super gingery, which is good. I like the taste of ginger. In the bottom, there's peanuts. Jellies. Usually people went out like in the nighttime to find this when it's rainy, when it's cold. You know what? I'm gonna give this seven out of 10, which is good. I just never had something like this, so my brain is trying to like adapt to, to like, is it enjoyable or is it just making me hotter? I think you should try this. Oh, they're different? They're different. Oh. This is called sekuteng, okay. and this is called rode, wedang. This is, so what are these mysterious balls? Uh, rice cake. Okay. They're the same soup base. Similar broth, yeah, but different inside. How's it? Just like childhood. Just like your childhood. That's the thing, like if you grow up eating this dish, then it's good and you create it. But as I said, I've never tried it before. We just came across this little cart for the next stop. What is this one? It's called kue putu. It's basically uh, some kind of rice cake and they would fill with brown sugar and also coconut in it. They would steam it though. Can you hear the sound of this thing? It's like a train is arriving or something. So basically when you would hear these sounds, which means there's a way puto is crossing over, so you know exactly where to buy it. That is Just by hearing so the sounds. cool. It's like 10,000. All right, let me try this. It's like a cake, like pandan cake. Yeah, it's like a pandan. 
So it's brown sugar inside with kind of a rice cake. Is it rice? It's some more flour. I don't know, whatever it is, it's good. It's really soft and mushy, kind of like a donut. I got it. <laughs> Do you mind? How is it? That's actually really good. Oh yeah, it's really sweet. I gotta be honest, of everything we tried so far, this is my favorite. The soup thing was a little weird. The pancake thing was just outrageously unhealthy. But this is tasty, like I could eat more of this. The train. <laughs> I just gotta say, I'm so happy to be back in Asia. <laughs> but this is my first trip since COVID started. <laughs> that was amazing. So it's been three years since I've been in Asia. Just looks so delicious. Very, very happy to be back and eat the best food in the world and meet cool people like Mike. It's a great place to be. Last but not least, Durian. Look at that smile. He's like, he's I'm like, lying. I don't even he's like, why the hell did you take me here? If you've never heard of Durian, here's a quick rundown. It only exists in Southeast Asia. It's the stinkiest fruit in the world. It's actually banned on metros and hotels. Yeah, you cannot here? bring it. Yeah, yeah in Singapore it is, yeah. And I personally like it. It takes many times to try it to like it. But I haven't had it in many years and we're gonna try it right now. Let's get a Durian. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Bye. I'm not gonna finish this. Do you yeah, want to have? Do this? you want to join us? Take it's it okay. Off. We need to join you. Yeah. Do you want to join the durian party? Oh, I love it. I love okay, durian. Okay, got The best way to eat durian is to use your hand. Mm. Once you get through the, you know, the smell, the, the, you know, the bitterness, it's just it goes on your mouth. It's 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 durian. <laughs> Is it good? All right, bro. I think the ladies have uh, have already showed us. I can only do one though. So it's really hard to describe the smell of durian. It's like dirty feet, like dirty socks that haven't been washed in three weeks. Like wet socks. Maybe you find them on the street and you sn sniff the socks. Yeah, describing that won't do any help <laughs> for me to getting through this though. Go ahead. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> Honestly, I've had it enough that you just get past that like pungent taste, smell, he's <laughs> gonna spit it out. It kind of tastes like custard, I don't know, I like it. I, I can believe this is happening. I could only imagine meeting one of those uh, vloggers in YouTube. I mean, like, I follow you uh, and Sonny and Marvin. Everyone knows you guys, so just, whoa, what a surprise. <laughs> I'm so honored. Thank you so much. Yay. Okay. Cheers. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, and uh, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Bye. It has been a great experience trying all these wild desserts in Indonesia's vibrant capital city of Jakarta. If there's one thing for sure, I know that it will not be my last time in this amazing city. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more fun stories from every country in the world. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys. Stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.